John Moore reporting for SportsAndMore.com from the East Hands Sportsplex. The East Hands Penguins with a 7-5 victory over Truro in the gold medal game, joined by Coach Fraser. Coach, congratulations on the win here. Uh, tell me about the excitement of the moment here, not only winning a provincial championship, but winning it on home ice. Well, when you've seen the crowds all weekend, phenomenal. The game got a little wild there in the third. We thought we were a little, a little more comfortable than what we were, but uh, we found a way, and it was awesome. The, the fan support was just unbelievable this weekend. So, yeah, Tell me about the team's performance here in the gold medal game. Well, I think it was the, the energy. They fed off the crowd. We get down early. The crowd brought them back. I mean, I, I just didn't think we could fail today because the crowd just kept bringing them back, bringing them back, bringing them back. So it was great. It was, it was unbelievable. Every coach thinks a championship is a special team. Tell me why you believe. I'm sure you believe this is a special team. Well, I started with this group when they were IPs, so they were five years old and first learning to skate. So, so it's been rewarding. It's been quite a journey with these kids, and it's been a blast. What are the strengths of this club? Why have they been able to rise to the top? Well, they're a team. They, they're they a close-knit group. They're, there's no egos. They play as a team. They win as a team. It's uh, they're, they're certainly a team, and that's and that's what works for us. A lot of great individual efforts, but I know as a coach, you're always looking yeah. for that team team approach, but uh, can you single out a, a few players that prefer them to the high level this past four days? Uh, I, I, I think we're it was a team effort, so, and uh, yeah, I, I think everyone deserves credit, so yeah, certainly. Jeff, congratulations on the win. Thank you so much. Joey Merriam joining me here. Joey, maybe you can start by telling me a little bit about the excitement here. Your team has just received the provincial championship. This is the day you've been waiting for? Yeah, we've been waiting for this for about three years. We came up short in the past two, and this is just a big moment for us in the community. What was the, 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 the win today? Get down early, uh, but you seem to be draw a little energy off the crowd. Yeah, the crowd really got us going in the go first goal for us. Got the crowd into it, and then we got all the momentum, and I think that really like got us going. Yeah, how's this? How's it feel right here? I don't know. Your 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 hockey career is still very young, but uh, how's this moment feel right now? Feels good, and just knowing I got a provincial title now, and go home and celebrate with the boys. Lots of goals here this afternoon. Uh, tell me a little bit about the game and and how well the Penguins play. Um, I think we bounced back good after the first goal and getting the other couple goals, and then not like responding bad when they got the goals. Just keep playing our game and playing our structure. You know, why is this team a special team? Why is this a championship team? You mentioned before the previous two years not quite able to get there. I think we just dug down deep and we know we earned it and deserved it, so we got the win. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Please. Riley McKinnon joining me here. Riley, congratulations on the, on the win here. Tell me about this team's performance here this afternoon. 7-5 um, win. We came out flying. Uh, we always push hard. We never put our foot off the pedal. Just keep going. That's what our coach said in the room. And so that's our key to success. Have you been on the teams in the past that have come so close and yet they're not able to win the, win the provincial championship? Uh, yeah, I was on the Adam AAA team when we lost in the finals. That so we know how what it feels like when we lose, but now we feel know what it feels like when we win. Yeah, how motivated were you coming into this game? Obviously, you had a good tournament so far, but it all boiled down to a, a gold medal game. Um, uh, we were really motivated. We like crowd was always behind us. Once we scored our first goal, we always got into it. It just got us going. Yeah, 1,400 sold out arena. Have you ever played before a crowd with the energy like this before? Uh, no, I haven't. And where do you put this? I mean, you're still a young player, but where do you put this in your hockey career? This has been the biggest moment in my career so far. Feels really good. How would you feel about your own performance here? Uh, I felt I played good. Same with everybody else on our team. And the team obviously played well enough to win. You yeah. confident throughout? Uh, yeah, I was. Once we got up by those few goals, I knew that we weren't going to stop and that we had to play some defense, and we did that, and we kept them from scoring. Congratulations, Riley. Thanks. Braden Bannister joining me. Congratulations on your provincial championship. Tell me about how you're feeling right now after just receiving the trophy and the banner. Thank you. It's a really nice time being a first year on the team, first year with this group of guys. Fun time. Great game. Great game we played today, high scoring. Brody played good today too. Uh, yeah, a lot, lot, of, lot of goals here, right? Yeah, Not, a lot of goals. Uh, 12 goals in total, 7-5 win. Uh, but again, you roll through the four-day tournament. How confident were you going into this final game knowing Toro's a good team? We were confident. We were on a good streak after beating the, the Pirates and uh, the Ducks. It was going to be a tough game, but pulled out the win. Got the provincial title.
It seems like a pretty special team. Tell, tell me why. Yeah, lots of guys here who will move on and play high-level high hockey. Play pretty good hockey next year. Ho hopefully I can bring it back next year with uh, first-year kids. Love it. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Tyler Payne joining me here moments after uh, capturing a provincial championship. Tell me how you're feeling right now. Uh, it feels amazing. Uh, I think all everybody's loving it. Like, we were waiting for this for three years, and it finally came today. Yeah, it's been a little bit uh, leaving, a little disappointed in the past, the previous two years there. This this is to be pretty sweet. Yeah, like the past two years has been just horrible. Like we lost and heartbroken, but this year we won and just feels so so much better. Not only winning it, but winning it before 1,400 people, capacity crowd on hand, and they gave you lots of energy, I assume. Yeah, they did. It When you look up in stands and you see everybody cheering for us, it just feels amazing. Just. You ever had a feeling like this in your hockey career before? No. No, I haven't. And at what point did you think you had this, this game in the bag? What point do you think that the medal's there, just a matter of closing the grasp? When there was 20 seconds left and we were up two goals, that's when I, that's when I uh, knew we had. You realized it. you had it, yeah. and finally, uh, this is a pretty special team, a championship team. Why is it so special? Well, we all work together, and we just try to accomplish things as a team, not in individually. And and in, in, in the end, it works out fine. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Okay. Nathan Peters uh, joining me here. The East Pants Penguins just crowned, recently crowned, provincial champions. Nathan, tell me about the feelings right now. This has to be an extremely exciting moment for you. Yeah, it just feels like amazing. Uh, can't really explain it any other way. It was tight. They made it interesting in the third period. They closed the gap, 7-5, uh, to five, the final there. Tell me about the, the feelings on the bench as they got a little closer in the third. Uh, got a little nerve-wracking. Uh, we were just trying to get the pucks deep and play as hard as we could, and it worked, and we won. Tell me about this team. Pretty special team. I've watched them for four days now, and obviously a championship team. But why is it so special? Uh, we're pretty skilled. We pass a lot, and we play as a team. We don't have many. Or we don't have any individual players. Yeah. And can you uh, can you give me a, an idea? Uh, again, the, there's. Many players on this team have been to the doorstep, but have been able to not been able to win a provincial championship. Finally, you get one here today before the home crowd. Crowd. Yeah, it's uh, it's great. Uh, we didn't really want to lose this one. We just wanted to try our hardest, and we won. Going to have a pretty fun summer thinking about this one. It's a provincial champion. How long are you going to wear that hat? Uh, probably forever. Congratulations. Duncan Ramsey joining me here just a moments after uh, winning a provincial championship. Uh, Duncan, uh, tell me a little bit about the, the emotions right now. Uh, it's super exciting. You know, we've been in provincials the past few years. I've uh, got a little unlucky. So this is, this is a big step, and we're all really excited, and it's really overwhelming. To yeah, exciting, and exciting not only to win a provincial championship, but you do it before and home ice. For home ice. Then tell yeah. me a little bit about that and how you fed off the crowd. Oh, the crowd was amazing. Um, it was, you try to block them out, and you do as good as you can, and you just don't want to mess up in front of your, your classmates and your friends at school and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it was. The crowd was good, and I'm glad there's a lot of people showed up. Yeah, they had three goal. You had a three goal lead in the second. Yeah. Looked like you'd be pulling away, but boy, they made it interesting in the third. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the the the, uh, the thoughts and how the bench was handling that. Uh, we were really good when we got scored on. We just said, you know, boys, just shake that one off, put it behind you. Don't want to get down on yourself. You're up by four, three or four goals, and you know it's seven three. It's okay, seven four. And yeah, we just tried to stay positive on the bench and just went ahead and did our thing and it's a great yeah, turnout. You did your thing in seven five one. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Bro, do you ever won a provincial championship before? Um, I've won them in other sports, but this is the first time I've ever won in hockey and it's a great feeling, that's yeah, for sure. You've been a part of the group that's been so close but not able to close it out the past yeah. years? Yeah, it, it's been nice. It's been, uh, we've been in provincials for the past two years and then to finally crack it, I guess third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Tell me about the crowd today, the excitement going in here, 
championship against a very good Truro team? Um, well, we knew that we could get the crowd behind us, so we were just uh, once we got uh, the lead there, I thought we had it after and going into the third. But they made a run in the third, did they not? Yeah, um, I see it was like, pretty late there, and I was like, come on, come on, because I got in the penalty box. I was like, oh, and then I had, and I couldn't do anything, but then I got back out, and I knew it was done. I talked to, to Coach, and I talked to some of your teammates. Mm -hmm. A championship team is a special team. What, why is this team so special? I think it's because we would, uh, on, we would die for each other on the ice. We, we've been with each other for so long. It, you get to know people, you get to know how they play, and you just want to win for them, not just for yourself. Congratulations. Played well here today. Congratulations on your championship. Thank you.